Anna Andrews of Approach to Link and I'm here with another event that creates approachable opportunities and this event is called the Battle of the Sexes. Now it is an event where men and women, a panel of men and women come together to talk about relationship topics. So I'm on my way there. I'm really looking forward to hearing what the men and women on the panel have to say about relationships. Um, there's also supposed to be some mixing and mingling, so that's where the creating approachable opportunity comes in. So hopefully there is some great approachable opportunities. So I'll keep you posted. I'll give you a summary of how the event went and what the men and women had to say about relationships. And I'll also give you a synopsis of how the mixing and mingling went as well. So I'll keep you posted. I'm on my way there. It's raining now, so hopefully I will get there safely. I'll keep you posted, all right? How many of you have met one of the following aspiring model, actress, entrepreneur of some sort of undefined business, retailer, event stylist, event planner, public relations executive, social media expert? All the above. Yes, right after that. On the same business card. <laughs> On the same business card. Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss. I'm going to throw the question out first to Stacey, because as an author of seven novels, you deal with archetypes. So tell me, how many times, are, are these stereotypes true? Because as you were saying, love, I've met a lot of wonderful men. I love Toronto men more than anything else in the world. Give me a Brooklyn accent, but I will stay home in Toronto. But how many stereotypes have you come across? Are they accurate? What's going on with that? I think they're accurate, but at the same time, they're all really, really tired. I think we cling to the stereotypes and then we just generalize that everybody fits into one of those categories. So I think the stereotypes themselves are kind of keeping everybody back and making us think, oh, he's this type of guy or she's this type of girl. The stereotypes themselves, I think a lot of the time are just old and kind of need to be reinvented. Hey, and just in my car, coming back from the battle of the sexes and it was really good. They had four topics. The first one talked about safe sex. Um, the next one, stereotypes. The next one had to do with living at home with your parents and would you date somebody like that. And then the last one talked about friend zone. So we had a lot of um, people had their say about those four different topics. Um, one of the topics or the topics that included sex I was actually um, more listening instead of actually participating because that's something that I'm currently not involved with because I am saving myself to marriage. Um, and that's something that didn't really, that wasn't really discussed um, tonight when they were talking about safe sex. They talked about condoms, but probably one of the best things to be safe is to not have sex at all, um, which wasn't discussed. but. Um, yeah, there was like, I guess I could have said that tonight, um, but yeah. Anyway, so they were talking about all of that and all of the men and women had a lot to say. A lot of opinionated um, people on the panel. We had Lincoln Blades, we had Dr. Vibes, we had Stacy, I believe her name was, and Talisha. Um, all people who had lots to say about those different topics. And then we also had charades, so in between those to, uh, in between those four topics they had um, people in the audience participate and they were given um, a word or a phrase that had to do with the topics that were discussed tonight and people had to guess what they were trying to do through what they're doing through their gestures and they gave away prizes which was good as well and then afterwards um, there was a little bit of mixing and mingling but people a lot of people left because um, of the time now, for the idea or an event being a creating approachable opportunities, um, the ratio of men and women um, weighed heavily on the women. So if you were looking for someone to meet that night as a single person, I guess you might have been disappointed in that regard. But when I think about like the whole events and meeting people, Again, I am reminded of um, 
men not taking advantage of these type of opportunities like these women tonight were beautiful beautiful women and these men are missing out on all these beautiful women and um these events are perfect for men to meet women a lot of men go to clubs a lot of single men go to clubs looking for single women but like a lot of good quality women were out tonight women who had um, their head on their shoulders, you could tell by the way they spoke when they answered the question that these men are missing out. So I want to invite all the men um, out there who are looking for some quality women to make sure they attend the next battle of the sexes. Um, add Goddess Intellect on Twitter. If you have Twitter, make sure you follow her so you can know when the next Battle of the Sexes is. I believe Battle of the Sexes has their own Twitter account as well. You can follow them on Twitter to make sure you are at the next event. You don't want to miss out on the next event because there's going to be a lot of beautiful ladies and you men. If you want to meet some beautiful ladies with some good head on their shoulders and have things to say and know what they're talking about, you need to make sure you are at the next Battle of the Sexes. So yeah, that was my summary of the event. It was good, and I look forward to a future one. And um, yeah, check them out. Stay posted. Keep up with Approach to Link as we continue to show you events that create approachable opportunities, including planning our own events that create approachable opportunities. All right, so take care.